everyone hates on Tesla. Shout out to everybody who's watching. We got another one. U.S. Senator Warren attacks Tesla. No surprise there, guys. But let's hop straight into the video. Shout outs to Herbert. Let's get active. Back at it again, attacking Elon Musk and Tesla. Repeating much of what she's already been doing, she wrote a letter to the SEC to investigate Tesla and its board of directors for failing to manage the actions of Elon Musk as CEO of both Twitter and Tesla. How Snitch. Dry snitching. Now, that's pretty crazy, right? You're filing a claim saying that share the board members are not controlling Elon. What? I didn't know that they could take away his civil rights. And his constitutional rights. I didn't know that they could do that just because. What kind of strategies are they supposed to employ? I'm pretty sure some of those are employment inclusion activities. Come on, cut it out. How important is this? Why is she and other politicians even doing this to Elon? And is it backfiring? Finally, let's see how Elon has responded. I've got Jeff Lutz with us. He's an ex-chief supply chain executive and chief quality officer at Fortune 100 Companies. Welcome, Jeff. Hey, Herbert, great to be with you. This is a topic that you've, uh, you know, and I've been talking about following Senator Elizabeth Warren. It's been added again. So let's watch uh, just a video here on CNBC to set the stage. Make of Senator Warren's letter first to um, the SEC. Not new arguments, similar to what we've heard from her in the past when it comes to Tesla, Elon Musk, and uh, the governance of uh, Tesla, the board of directors. She says there's a financial conflict of interest. There's a lack of oversight. Uh, a lack of disclosure, and as a result, shareholders are hurt because of that relationship. Not surprisingly, Elon Musk, and he's heard this before, uh, he tweeted out today, you know, it seems like Senator Karen, and that's what he refers to Senator Warren as, Senator Karen is uh, getting her cues on this complaint from SBF's dad, SBF being Sam Bankman-Fried. He has long said, look, Sam Bankman-Fried's father advised uh, Senator Warren's staff in the past. Ooh! Man's out here winning now. Hold on. Time out. First of all, Elon, that's pretty funny, man. <laughs> Senator Karen. But let's go to the charts. Man's out here winning. Man's out here winning big time. See, Tesla investors and the shareholders are doing completely fine, right? We're talking about 863%. I'm pretty sure whatever state that Senator Warren looks over is not up 300% or 800%. Right, man's out here winning. <clears throat> if we go back to the lifetime, the max of Tesla, right? This is going all the way back to 2010, guys. 2010. 2010 to 2024. That's 14 years, right? 14 years. We're up 13,949%. Man's out here winning. Man's out here winning. Shout outs to Elon Musk. Shout outs to the whole Tesla team. So, how are we losing? See, now we'll be losing if we were for the month, for the last six months, or to year to date. Or if we go from the year, down 5% for the year. Five years, man's out here winning. Max of a life, 13,949%. Man's out here winning. What is she talking about, right? Of course she doesn't make any sense. God dang, guy, 14 years. Can you believe that? 14 years. That's half of most people's long-term strategy, which is usually a 30-year plan. 14 years. We're not even halfway in it. We're not even halfway on your mortgage. And we're out here winning. Your house ain't up that much in the last 14 years, right? Sen Senator Warren's state is not up. So woman's out here losing, men's out here winning, and still we have campaigns of hate. Let's continue. Ask and therefore she's taking her cues from him. So we've heard these uh, concerns from Senator Warren in the past regarding Elon Musk. I'm not sure that the uh, SEC is gonna do something specifically because of this letter, but we have heard this from her in the past. Yeah, no no fan clearly of uh, Elon Musk and the uh, right. no fanism is reciprocated. Yeah, but uh, where do you sit on this? Do you think that it's uh, nothing burger? It's just the same thing that he's already doing anyways. Uh, what's your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't think executives or people can or should break the law. Um, I don't, and there's no information or data that says, or anything that's proven that says he has. But yeah, honestly, just end this story, right? 
if he hasn't broken the law, mm -hmm. then it's the end of story, right? Prove it, Warren. See, she should be out here sued, right? Allegedly, right? You have to prove these things. But when we look at the data, as I just told you guys, she's talking about us like shareholders. I'm a shareholder. So she's talking about me and telling me I'm losing. When I'm looking at my brokerage account, seeing the W's, seeing massive amounts of victory, landslide. We're out here winning. Jumanji, Stampede. We're doing damage. But she's telling me that we're not doing damage, that we're being damaged, that we're losing tremendously. Once again, guys, this is a thin line between love and hate, right? But there's a large line between hate and great. And Elon has been doing great. So once again, if there's an entrepreneur, if there's a businessman, if there's a CEO out there like Elon Musk, and he's creating tremendous amounts of value. This is what I tell you guys when I've spoken in the past before about we tend to glorify social leaders or political leaders commentators, influencers, celebrities, athletes, etc., but people who monumentally changed our life. And I mean, changed commerce, transportation, aviation, space exploration, energy, is the titans that we tend not to talk about a lot. Shoot, if we say anything about them, it's mostly hate, because a lot of you guys are commies or fascists. You love to hate Tesla instead of looking at the situation and saying, wow, they have built massive amounts of factories. They have built massive amounts of opportunities for other people via jobs. You normies love jobs. So why would Warren hate? Because she hates us because she ain't us. Let's continue. Just vote these people out. I, what what are they doing you know, in terms of the, this nonstop attack on billionaires, specifically one, you know, Elon Musk is the one that they have the number one target on, or just big tech and big company. It's big tech, big companies, blocking mergers, blocking transactions, blocking, you know, basically blocking innovation. So if, if Elon is nonstop being pulled into courtrooms by the SEC, who she's urging uh, to investigate him, being pulled into courtrooms by the DOJ, being pulled into private lawsuits, can't get his own compensation, right? His own compensation. Can't get his own compensation, gets pulled, to, pulled in court by normies complaining about racism, right? Just normie stuff, right? It's ridiculous. How can Elon continue to produce great things when he's always being pulled into court? And it's quite funny. It's the same media who makes fun of Jack Ma or says that the CCP pulls Jack Ma into courts and into a dark corner. I remember Jack Ma went on a vacation. He was in the Cayman Islands winning. And then the media spun up a story like the CCP done took, took him to the Batcave. And they made up this whole storyline that Jack Ma was abducted by the CCP. But the dude was just on vacation, R&R, &R, you know, relaxing with the Jucos. Like he he was chilling, popping champagne. He's he's done a great amount of things in China. But they want to talk so much about the government affecting the private sector, but they're doing the same and worse. Rejecting Elon's compensation package, 55 billion. Guys, I'm not I, I'm an advocate for people who do great. Regardless if you're broke ninja, regardless if you're middle class or upper class. 55 billion to $55. If you're doing great, I have no hate. If you're out here scoring, man's is killing. So if Elon's doing great, I'm not going to critique him just because it's paycheck where his compensation is great. $55 billion in comparison to over, <laughs> over $900 billion, which he has created for shareholders in the market place at whole. He's created massive amounts of millions of dollars for other people who have a job underneath. What are we talking about? Where do we want to go? We want to go to Twitter. We want to go to SpaceX. We want to go to Tesla. We want to go to Neuralink. We want to go to, and the list goes on. Let's continue, man. ...was taken away. And if you do the kind of the TikTok and the spider web of that judge and that judge's political affiliations, You'll find that, you know, and most judges are, but she's highly politically affiliated. 
Um, and you know, right or wrong, I mean, there's certainly in some of these rulings, there could be some, there's some, could be some truth, but it's just this nonstop. No, it's just a lot. It's propaganda. Stop barrage of basically every, every government agency and, and multiple brand, you know, in multiple levels of judicial, just constantly investigating and just having this kind of this nanny state over people. I mean, he's obviously reinvented the auto industry, the EV industry. The U S would be nowhere in EV without him. And we would have completely lost everything to the Chinese. And then in America would be nowhere, not only just in EVs, if, if you don't agree with that, or if you don't care about that, there'll be nowhere along factories, manufacturing, a refinement, battery innovation, storage, not even just EVs. The V and EV is vehicle, guys. But batteries, storage of energy via batteries, battery, battery manufacturing and production. We wouldn't be nowhere without him. Space exploration will be nowhere without him. You guys were paying boatloads of money on rocket ships that were being shit up, sent up. Holla at Boeing and NASA for not really changing the game. Elon has reduced the prices on every launch into space. And a lot of you guys think the internet come from the cosmos. A lot of you guys think that the internet come from trees and oxygen. It doesn't, guys. Okay, so we got to send things up into the space up there somewhere in order for you guys to continue to have great Internet access. So they've been scoring. Madness is winning. Senator Warren is hating. Senator Karen. And then obviously what he's done with space, what he's doing, and, and we would be nowhere in terms of manned missions and unmanned missions, what he's done with Starlink and blanketing the entire globe with with internet access i mean you just go on and, and it's helping not only private citizens but our you know our u.s military uh is using it um our military is very interested in spacex uh as well in terms of rocket technology and so they're execute. he's executing he's getting results so you want to invest in the u.s stock market but you don't know where to start i look i do know where to start elizabeth warren like anything, we need to get her up out of the situation, right? She needs to go retire. Like her in the mix of everything. Who's voting that woman in? I want to know. What is she in charge? Like, who put her in charge? Thing in the world. But you know, he's been he's been very vocal about his concerns about you know our, our rights being trampled on, whether it's free speech or whether it's certain laws or so forth. And he's you know, he makes no um you know, there's no resistance in him talking about it and, and making sure everybody knows about it. So I think there's concern, you know, he acquired, he acquired Twitter and converted it to X. And that was a big, big move away from, again, this nanny censorship state of like, we only want people to hear what we want them to hear. So when you kind of tie all this together, everything's kind of working together of like, Hey, we need to control the media we need to control kind of some of the censorship and, and we want more censorship out there here. He's acquired this platform. He's very vocal against our policy. So who's chasing him down? It's one side of the aisle. It's, it's, it's the Democrats. Now there's a lot that there's a lot to share around, obviously. Yeah. The Democrats, but also, you know, the conservative or the right y'all be hating too. Y'all, y'all some haters too. Let's see if he said that. Cause you know, the Democrats, they definitely be hating. But definitely the conservatives and the right, y'all be hating. Y'all be hating too. Like Trump, Trump, you the homie, but you still be a low key hater, right? Nobody care about truth. Like, <laughs> nah. you should have did something with Elon or something. You should have opened up your Twitter account. But not, not, not even that. Like, you be kind of throwing shade on EVs. You be like, oh, yeah, he great. But you need to double down because. I don't know who you're rocking with that's out here doing numbers and innovating like Elon, right? Who? Please leave in the comment section. Actually, if you look at what's happening on the Republican side and how often they work against EVs and how much misinformation um, they put out there regarding EVs, including the, the top candidate, um, you know, for that side. I mean, that's a huge problem as well.
it's a little bit more manageable. It's it's not pleasant, but certainly from a legislation perspective, and certainly from a rhetoric perspective, you've got tremendous misinformation going out there. So you have kind of- yeah 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 y'all be haters on, on the right too. You 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 guys are against energy because it comes from the sun. Like I understand you might have a problem with climate change. You know, climate change aside, I don't even like talking about that myself. I just focus on just is it more effective and efficient. And you guys come up with more excuses. Then the guy think ninja going to jail. Like, oh man, I was racism. Like you guys always come up with an excuse when we have an EV conversation or just an electric conversation. Like the government has always gave subsidies and support to certain industries and sectors that they're attempting to build out. That's not a conspiracy just because they're doing it for EVs now. And if you morons don't realize it, let me tell you something. If we don't jump into the next power engine, power engine, not combustible engine, but an energy, a battery engine, if we don't tap into that, that's going to be a hardware that's taken into the future, and it's going to provide, provide massive amounts of benefits for the world. It's, a, it's an entire new market. It's a revolutionary technology. Regardless of how you feel, I'm not even talking about plants and trees and squirrels. I'm talking about literally the power. The power engine, the battery is effective and efficient. Like, and we're going to create more jobs and more industries by what? Building out that infrastructure and building out that new industry. But you guys on the right are mad because we're not using gasoline and oil no more. It's like, damn, my G, how long are you going to continue to ride the nuts of fuel underneath the ground? At a certain point, somebody's going to beat us if they can just get energy from the sun. (laughs) And you got to dig thousands of miles underneath the ground like that's stupid that's that's long man so net net y'all be hating on the right too but net net definitely over here elizabeth karen isn't that the native american lady they definitely are hating i'm kind of just it's a mess i mean from both sides of this but in terms of what um senator warren is doing these people are anti almost like anti-progress they're they're taking the most accomplished and the and and the people working he works every day of the week and and they're and they're going after these people and again if there's just like stone cold like it's obvious that there's a problem here okay maybe go after things and make sure to you know keep things in line i think the the um i think elon has great respect for the judicial system and and fairness of it but it just seems like you know they're going after him just on every angle possible. You know, the, even the one that happened a few months ago with SpaceX and Starlink, there was a nine hundred million dollar grant awarded. There's nobody that's in sight. There's nobody that's even a few years uh, close to Tesla in terms of being able to deploy this system and to help with rural internet. And they took the grant away. That's facts. That's facts. No one else is close in. Talking about Starlink really provides internet for rural places. It provides internet at this point for the world, and it can do that. So for them to be taking away grants, right? I mean, there's nobody close. There is no competition coming, like they always say for, you know, EVs. But especially space innovation. I'm I'm sorry, no disrespect, Boeing. But those guys, they not doing nothing. That's a long mind thing, yeah? Let me guys, uh, let me show you guys real quick in case you guys are just not like up to speed, right? What Starlink may be or what it looks like. And that's the internet providing service or provider. Um, and it provides services for places that are rural. Of course, I'm over here in Thailand, so it's starting. Uh, but look at this. <clears throat> now, of course, the light blue is available, right? So all across Europe, it's available mostly. Um, there's specifics for Ukraine, but it's on a waiting list. And they provide it also still there. It's available over here in Georgia, right? Of course, in some pockets, right? There's some pockets that are still on the waiting list, probably some regulatory nonsense coming through. But most of the world is on a waiting list, right? Coming soon on a waiting list, right? Mongolia, we out here providing internet all over Australia. Zoom back out. I'm going to put it up on a bigger screen so you guys can see it. 
So really talking about providing internet ship across the world, shout outs to South America, damn near the entire continent of South America, right? All of America, all the way Canada, stretching out to Alaska. Russia, come on, man. Come on, boy. Stop being haters. Of course, Russia and China, they they angry. They mad. They mad because we styling on them. So they're not going to join it. But then that, look at this, guys. All over the place. And then it's going to be mostly Africa. Once Africa gets their stuff together, as you see, the starting dates, 2024, 2025. And of course, this is all still, you know, needs to be mapped out by those appropriate governments over there. But Nigeria, Nigeria. Oh, my Nigeria. My Nigerian home is Brada. Brada. They already got the internet, right? Uh, expected in 2024 for Lagos. Of course, I'm pretty sure current providers want to stay there in Abuja, which is, you know, two big capitals. So that might be an issue. But for the rest of it, the local providers like, yeah, 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 yeah. Starlink can do that. <laughs> we're, not, we're not leaving the capitals. You know, we got Lagos. We got Abuja. But for the rest of Nigeria, yeah. Oh, my Nigeria. Go ahead, brother. Brother, provide internet. So we out here winning. Men's of them is winning. For anybody who say men's ain't winning, they haters. Second quarter of 2024, come on, that should be coming online soon. Bolivia, 2024. Uh, what is that? Uruguay, 2024 of Q3. Let's go, man. Men's, men's is hating. Go, Guyana, Guyana, and Serena. See, Venezuela, they angry, so they're not coming online. And Cuba, come on, man, stop the hate. So this is what Elon's doing. Now, what is Elizabeth Warren doing, bro? That's a big question, big mind thing. What is she doing? I don't, we don't know you, Elizabeth Warren. We don't even know what you have done in life. Let's go to the charts. And this is not about her. All politicians got terrible careers. In 1970, after obtaining her degree, she got a college. In autoology, what the hell? <laughs> Come on, man. But before enrolling in law school, right, Warren taught children with disabilities. All right. And during law school, she worked as a summer associate. Man, she didn't do nothing. <laughs> uh, she passed the bar exam and then offered legal services from home, writing wills and doing real estate closing. Man, she didn't do anything. She was working remote before everybody else. She never got her hands dirty. Come on, man. In the late 1970s, 80s, and 90s, she taught law at several American universities. How you going to teach law and you ain't did nothing yet? Researching issues like related to bankruptcy and middle class personal finance. And then she became involved in public works and bankruptcy regula regulation and consumer protection in the mid-1990s. Bro, she did nothing, man. Like, she did nothing in the workforce. Hey, come on, my man. That's the worst resume. Get your get out of here. She couldn't get a job at Waterloo. Like she couldn't, she shouldn't get a job at Subway, man. Come on. Now let's go to the big homie, the big triple OG. Let's skip education. Career, zip two, PayPal, X.com, SpaceX. Man's is winning. Starlink. <laughs> Tesla. And then it should be born. Solar City, Neuralink, Born Company. And of course, we talked about X. Come on, man. And Warren, Warren, Warren Karen, she ain't did nothing but come out the gate, <laughs> went to school, was at home on a computer, working from home in her jammies. She was at home like this, working on consumer reports and bankruptcy and personal finances of the middle class and consumer protection, teaching at a university. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I'm Professor Karen slash Native American. So she did. <laughs> she said she was Native American, guys. I didn't say that. She said she was with the Chickasaw Indians. She was a liar. And the blood detector detect that was a lie. Let's continue, man. Oh, like we got to talk about the person's background. All right. I'm joking about her, but her background, right? It's not a personal attack. It's her lack of her resume looking whack. 
They took it away from him and it was voted. There's five FCC governors and they vote on and they, and they're they're um, put in the place on they're appointed on party lines. So there's three Democrats, two Republicans. And again, I want to get too political here, but they voted on party lines to take the nine hundred million dollar grant. Is there some other company that that grant's going to go to and it's going to get Internet out at the same quality and at the same speed and time as Starlink and Elon? No. So this is what you have happening. These people are not serving the public. And when they're not serving the public, whether what, regardless what side of the aisle they're on, you really need, people need to vote them out. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's scratches. I scratch my head. I don't understand the, the strategy that some of these politicians have. It seems to me that it's going to backfire. I understand the strategy. The strategy is hate. That's their strategy. Guys, what do we do? Vote Elizabeth Karen out. Right, she's as exiled from the island. You did like, yo, I'm about to buy a house in Massachusetts just so I can have residency there, right? Peep me, and so I could vote against her. You did like, I don't even want to live there, but I do want to vote against her because I don't, I don't like the moves that she is making. All right, when it comes down to what she's doing, it is. We need to get her up out of there, all right? So if you're over there and you're in Massachusetts and y'all still got Elizabeth Karen out there making terrible decisions, guys, all right, let me stop the jokes, okay? Let, let's, let's get serious real quick. Her resume is whack. Her resume is whack. And I think if your resume is that whack, like you can have an opinion, but it shouldn't really be heard. <laughs> you can have an opinion. It doesn't carry much weight. She was working at home, online. She went to school and got degrees and stuff, but who cares? Did that help you guys out? Let me let me ask you guys, prior to public service, allegedly, I did public service, all right? Being a veteran, serving on the front lines is public service. What she's doing, that's debatable. But prior to that, she was at universities teaching people with no experience about the industry in which she was teaching. All books, all theory. Okay, it is what it is, right? Let's say she did something. Guys, you need teachers that have experience and have done what they also have studied. That would be nice, right? You wouldn't want me to teach you guys if I studied computer science and then spent no time writing any programs, any nothing, and then just went double down on teaching. Now I'm teaching you. Like, it's just ridiculous. But net, net, okay, let's move past that. She didn't do much, all right? She she probably bought some condos on the side. I don't know, who cares? She did some things in real estate. So shout out to you. But now, when we looked at Elon's professional career, when we looked at his CV, his resume, he was creating resumes and creating jobs for other people to apply for. We talked about SpaceX. We talked about Tesla. Let's just leave it there. And we showed you Starlink, right? And so what do we want? We want innovation or hating. If you want to vote for Warren Karen and want hating for the nation, then vote for Karen. But if you want greatness and innovation, then we're going to actually vote for Elon. Shout out to Warren Karen for hating on Tesla, all right? And if we continue to push forward and we move past the negative Nancys, like on the real, then it'll be another great day. A fantastic day for capitalism. Thanks to everybody. Shout outs to you guys. Thanks for watching. And hey, man, just stay alert. Everyone loves to hate on Tesla.